You know, does this chirp? I don't know. See, at least with my flip cam, it chirps. I'll have to note that when you turn it on. I'm going to do some vlogging on my newest camera, which does accomplish a pretty decent, um, what do you call it? Steady cam type thing. Quality isn't as good, but I'll be doing this vlog, you know, on this camera. And this is the Funami HD digital video camera. We'll see. I am at our local cemetery, which you've seen me prowl around a bit, bef you know, before, but I get to do this solo! Yay! Going here, coming to pick up a few plants of those people we were trying to find before. So, let's see how this goes. Oh, am I still recording? I don't know. This is the same cemetery in our town. This, this is just the, the main hub, I guess. The other one would be the Catholic cemetery, but... I don't know if there's any particular denomination in here. See, I'm smart. I parked on top of the hill and get to walk down. So <laughs> but I still have to go uphill to carry the plants. People are like, what the heck? Of course, it's high noon here, so... in the beginning of a heat wave. So I don't think I'll meet many people. Uh. And this is the... Uh. Well, we'll go this way and cross. Supposedly I have an hour and 35 minutes. But this is your stereotypical granite wall that you find here in lovely New England. Lots of rock, what are you going to do with it? Build a wall! No castles though. The mausoleum or whatever this is. Built in 1863, but I guess the door is 1923. Go up this way. I we have those here in New England. I don't know if they're all around in the world, but in colder temperatures in the winter, if you drop dead, they couldn't plant you. Now this is before forklifts and all that stuff. There are those big things they dig holes in the ground, so they plopped you in there until spring, where they could dig you a hole and bury you in the spring. So that's what those wee little buildings are. We still like those obelisks. I mean, that's what they're derived from. The Egyptian obelisk. And the top pyramid part is called a Ben Ben stone. Which is kind of like the... Well, no, the obelisk came after the pyramid, didn't it? King Squire is a popular name in town since it's a relatively well-known local business. Kind of like an Ace Hardware type thing. Lumber, this, that, and the other thing. A holy. Oh, it's a peas. Chester. Be nice if they could restore these things. This one looked like it might have been knocked over at one time. And like we were talking before, you know, knocking over tombstones. Like, a, like, who are you pissing off? Especially if, like, the people are from, like, 18-something or whatever, and they might not have actual family left. You're not pissing off the family. And do you really want to piss off a dead spirit? I mean, <laughs> you gotta wonder if people are being haunted. You know, ask around, did you ever knock over a cemetery block or whatever, or did anything stupid like that? You probably would be surprised. I'd be a bit miffed. <sighs> hmm. There's a Flint Street in our town. That's really pretty, actually. I like the way they did the F. Try the zoom here. See, the zoom on this camera, you think you'd go up and down. You don't. You hit the side-to-side -side buttons, which is really kind of annoying. Flint. Very elvish, the way the F is. Kind of looks like an ent. That was the zoom on this camera. Thompson Street. 1856, 1936, 1949. Wow. Some of
much nicer doing this when there's like nobody around. <laughs> I'd much rather hang with the dead folk. They're far less of a pain in the ass. They'll let you get a word in. Don't argue with you. Huh, well this is different. These are Japanese. And these are relatively old. Ashiwara Shiui. Forgive my horrible Japanese ish. Died at. I don't know if I can get a closer shot. Died at Munson, July 21st, 1867, age only 27 years. And I don't know if you can pick up on this. They're Japanese glyphs. I'm not sure what the term for the symbols. He was born at, he must be a fellow, he was born at Kashiwa, uh, oh, Nagas Gaosu. I can't read that in Saturday. <laughs> Another New England driver. In Satsuma, Japan was something to this country it looks like SCNTL was sent to this country to be said I'm thinking that's supposed to be an E educated at Munson Academy which was this big well, Munson Wilbraham Academy was this big fancy rich people call it private school type of thing in the something at his native province erected by his associates from Japan. I'm not quite sure what came here to study, I guess. And that's just on that side. It's plain. And now here's another one, which has the Japanese calligraphy. I think you're supposed to read it top to bottom. Some more Japanese calligraphy. And actually, this camera's kind of picking it up better than it is live. And it's only on that two sides, I think. Yep. So this must be like a dual monument to the same person. That's really cool. It's very beautiful. They look like, you know, like birds' feet. You know, Japanese is a very visually pretty language. You know, the same with hieroglyph, but that's almost more practical because you can tell a person in this and that and the other one. This is more symbolic, depending on the script of Egypt anyway. It's really neat. We've passed this how many times? That's got to be rough having a, <laughs> a tombstone by a tree here because the tree's roots grow up and we've got a bit of a list here. Kink. Kink? I would think that's how you say Kink. K-I-N-C. Birdy tree. I have no idea what type of tree this is. <laughs> There's no leaves, but it's not pine either. I don't know, pine ish. So, Spalding? Was that like some sort of soap opera? Ace of Spalding. Sounds like a soap opera name, I can't remember. <laughs> Wasn't much in the soap operas, but you were forced because when you had other relatives that watched it, it's like, what are I, I'd rather watch cartoons and make more sense. Funny thing is, the only soap opera I ever liked was in Spanish, and I can't speak a word of Spanish. Should have made more sense. Go tell ya. It was Mari Mar, by the way. <laughs> it was really hysterically funny. So Coburn. I wonder how much these things cost. I mean, really. My grandmother's sister wants to put, I guess, actual plate. Um, ma markers on the grave. There's one big whole thing that has the family name on it, but there's not like se separate ones that tell you, you know, great grandfather, aunt, this, that, and the other thing. And <laughs> she's trying to hint to for like grandma to pay for it or something. It's like, come on, we're ghetto. We can't, you know, stick a tent, you know, a sign there. I am here, you know, that's about it. <laughs> and she's like, was it a thousand dollars, a few thousand dollars? I don't know, an ass load of money. Some more that were broken at one time. Another obelisk. Hmm. Homer. 
an interesting little setup here. Zoom in. Kind of like a little little family thing there. Oh, rather nice. But needless to say, we probably won't have any spot there. I mean, you get the big, big one. Do you really need the little ones? I do not know. This is some ancient, ancient stones here. Uh, Phoebe, wife of James McMahon, died April 10th, 1872, and was only 28 years. And you read these dates, and you're like, wow. 1872, 1972 was 100 years. So about, and I was born in 76. Eh, about 130, almost 140 years old, this particular one. We've seen them older still. Oops. Shown these particular ones before, and I still love this one. Fuller. The Doctor. Obviously, because who else could afford this? And look at the intricacy of this particular... I don't know if it blurs up close, but... I mean, this thing is as tall as I am, if not taller. We're on the same ground, and it's like two inches taller than I am, so it's over five feet anyway. But look at the... the scroll work and the artistry of the actual stone. And if this is December 25th, 1838 to 1913. So this was carved 1913. I don't know if they used power tools at that point, 1913. Was the technology available? <laughs> or were they still hand carved? Anybody behind Mr. Fuller? <laughs> oh, a noble man lies here. Those who knew him best loved him most. That's nifty. Hmm. Well, being a healer, who knows? Back in the days before HMOs, he might actually have been a damn good doctor. Er, excuse me, people passing through. Margie. Another pretty tree. When the tornado hit, we, you know, kind of skipped to this part of town, so. But, like, that little cemetery on the main street there knocked quite a few of them down, but they did repair them, which is cool. Uh. You know, if you're going to fence off your, your obelisk, I'd have a more impressive obelisk. <laughs> and this is a black. And there's a few little, little places there. You can come up the other way because i got to... See, and this is the anvil. So we have a doctor and must be a blacksmith because that's a blacksmith's apron. That's an anvil, obviously. I don't know what else you'd do. It's a very tiny hammer, though. Burdock. Burdock. Let's check out the other side here. It's just a tree stump and stone. No specification as to the occupation, but I'm assuming blacksmith. That's really neat. I mean, how you can get the, you know, fluidity of, you know, cloth and stone is really rather impressive. I don't know what else you'd use a... 1917 was his wife, 1899. So yeah, probably blacksmith, which would be an important task. Especially around here in New England, I guess. Graham. Peck. Luther. Very New england name. England slash New England name, Luther. So that's the problem with, like, modern names. They're so cutesy and sort of, you know, of the moment, but I like the classical names, like, like, Luther and Arthur and William, you know, the nice staple names. They just sort of have more depth. I mean, my friggin' first name you'll <laughs> hear in the next, in the next video, which you've probably heard in previous videos, but seriously, I even hate saying my name because it's just so ear-piercingly unpleasant. Here's a rather interesting one, another piece.
well, that way life non-existent on this. Krista says you're supposed to charge it for a few hours, but I haven't done that, so. <laughs> I'll probably be flipping over to the flip cam shortly. But you can, well, if I edit them together, you can see the difference between the two. Uh, this is a very strange monument. It's like a double monument here. I'm assuming this little dippy thing went in the middle, or? Yeah, because it tipped over on the bottom. Like a little lantern or something. And I have no idea what this is supposed to be. It kind of looks like parchment laid over rock or another cloth. Can't really tell what the names are. Bill? Frank A. Bill, Bull, something Bill. Bill Bill? It's the same group here or what? Doesn't, I don't see anything different. But there's no markings of any sort. They have, they've weathered considerably. Moron. Moron. His name is Moron. Enough said. Now the doctor, actually. September entered into rest 1881. BB. There's a BB road in our town. I have no idea where these roads are, but I've heard of them. <laughs> no, one of those little dippy New England roads where you end up in like three states over if you start driving down. <laughs> Some more older ones. Mun, Mun, I've heard of a Mun Road too. I'm ready to fuller. Hmm. This is neat. The bug, Bugbee. <laughs> Sometimes these names are like. Okay, you gotta wonder where the history of those particular names came from. Stebbins, or just Stebbins Road. So basically, this particular cemetery has most of the people who were important enough to have parts of the town named after them. <laughs> Bugby. I don't know, that sphere is just fascinating, especially when it's all angular, all the other um, stones. It's very interesting to see something spherical. And this is William Bugby. Uh, huh. Something C. Marcy. It's 1911, 1902. It's very neat. Must touch sphere. Wow, very, very smooth. Marble, most likely. Just, I don't know. It's a marble with feet. Lucius, another nice name. Lucius Bugby. Isabel Rathbun. Rathbun, not Rathburn. Bugby. Oh, was a thought formed and then. It died. Mm. There's a theory going around about that your standard gravestone, how it's like flat on the bottom and you know, round on the top, are actually kind of, they think are based on the stella of ancient Egypt, where you would see, you know, basically if a king said, this is my spot, yo, piss off, or, you know, this is something wonderful happened, whatever, they'd put it on like a stella which would be a flat-bottomed, round-topped stone you would carve on and, you know, promote whatever it is you were trying to stay, say. So, another squire over here. So, the theory is that's where the modern standard gravestone is. The, you know, the older ones you see where it's just the, you know, the same thing over and over again. I'm not sure when the fancy, like this one with the 10 million Cushmans here, you know, when they broke out of that particular mold, then they started doing the obelisks and the fancy ones, like that one there. 
Looks like there's a urn or something on the top there. Mm, blur, not good. Zoom out. Zoom's actually not that bad on this. I mean, as far as bringing far away things up close. Cushman, lots of Cushman stuff. Another doctor, Dr. Merchant. Shouldn't Dr. Merchant have been a merchant? Maybe he sold medical supplies. Not changed, but glorified. Which says underneath the little lip above his name. And I shall go up and show you. Looks like there was somebody here at some point. Or something was here. Not quite sure what. Dr. Merchant. Another fuller. Not changed, but glorified. Hmm. Is this a medical symbol of some sort? Or, I think I've seen, like, that's like a, what you see on ambulances or something, but I'm not sure what the significance of that particular thing is. If you know, please tell me down below. Another humongous thing. He fell a sacrifice to his art. Does that mean he, like, experimented on himself or something? Or, died 1901. Hmm. On this side, very pretty. Uh, oh, this dude must have been a banker or something, I don't know. Does that look like a humongous dollar sign to you? <laughs> well, considering the size of this stone, I'm sure they got money. Oh, Lord, thou art my God. And his wife. 1874. It's very impressive. Are these, like I said, are these things like solid or are they hollow? I mean, wow. <laughs> that was rather pretty there. Uh, wardrobe malfunction here. Sheesh. Just get finger. My tiny legs. See, I should be going that way. Oof. Mm -hmm. I think tinier legs would work better on this kind of terrain, but no, actually. Kind of makes me wonder here, the way this is like different, which came first. Because these are the older stones. So this must have been the original one. And then maybe, you know, they built the wall. And then they figured, well, we're running out of places. Let's put the new folk down here on the second level. And they're a lot less impressive, too. Of course, people don't have money for impressive ones down here, I guess. Even the big ones are kind of, you know, eh, compared to the ones up there. And this one's, a, I love this one. It's just a giant piece of pink granite. Or pink um, quartz, anyway. I mean, if you could find, like, a giant stone like that in your yard and, you know, utilize it, why not? Okay. Uh, that's pretty. Oh, I hope the plant's not dead. <laughs> uh, like I had mentioned before, the government is giving a humongous problem to the this person's mother who wants the bronze star actually on the grave. But they won't do it unless you have permission from the government. And you have to go through every sort of stupid loop and red tape and they have actually talked to representatives of the government and sent in what they needed to send in multiple times and it still won't, you know, go through. Or they just, you know, they just get boggled down in the red tape. And his mother is now 91 as well as his father. And they'd kind of like to see it on the grave while they're still alive. So if anybody has any idea you know, who to contact, like I probably mentioned in the last graveyard walk there, you know, I mean, the man died for his country, literally. He died the 2nd of July, and 
which will be tomorrow, will be an the anniversary, 1966. And so it's been pushing 50 years, 40 years. Not cool. This is the plant I have to rescue. Uh, ew! Ew, 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 ew! Ew, I don't want that in my car. You see the icky bugs? I don't want to see the icky bugs. Ew, 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 ew. What the hell are you, anyways? Ew. Yes, get the hell out of my car. I shall return. I have to fight the bugs. Okay, I think I won the battle. Ew. I don't know what those things are, but they're really, really gross. I mean, this is such a beautiful beautiful stone. Thistle. Thistle. 89. But, it, I mean, pink granite is just awesome. <laughs> I have some tumbled pink granite, but this is a huge ass rock, so I don't know. Whoops. Oh, poo. Hold on. Oh, bug, get in there. Ugh. Let's see if I can fix this thing here. Stone broke. Let's put in the be a shorter flag, but at least the flag is in there. Uh, Happy Fourth of July, Mike. Uh, now we've got to see if we can find everybody else. <laughs> Here's a very interesting stone here. Is it me? <laughs> Maybe they started Dunkin' Donuts. I don't. But I think it's more like a grinding stone. Formally, I've heard that name too. Yeah, it is a grinding stone because you can see the the grates on there. That's how they would grate grain. And the holes. I wonder if this was an original stone at one point. And his wife Gladys Hugs Hugston. Hmm, it's very interesting. There's a few more plum leaves. Uh, okay, between the arch and. The memorial for this policeman somewhere on the flats, and it is the name that I thought. Er, er. Here's your more modern stones, which which are still in that same vein of black top, brown top, but it's more stylized, I guess you would say. So they're more more angular than round. Aldrich, I've heard that name before. But then I suppose Gustav and Hazel Gustafson, very Norse. <laughs> the Gustafsons and the Nodies, and there's like I think another name in there, which are like 90% of the town, and they're all like relatives. <laughs> it's kind of scary, really. I don't know if that's advantageous or not. Oh, my finger's going numb. Yeah, I don't have a hand frame. My glasses are falling off my face. It is rather annoying. I very much like contacts. The red ones I saw too. That was awesome. Just a simple stone there. A Colburn Calkins. Like, like an unfinished stone. See, these are a lot less visually appealing to me than the old classic ones that were like giant <laughs> mausoleums in and of themselves. They're like, eh. This one was a mason, because you can see the little symbol there. Kind of blurs at the zoom, but does that mean too bad? Eh. Zoom out. It was weird because this camera seems to like feel so cheap because there's no battery in it. It's an internal battery. <laughs> it's like there's no weight in my hand, which is you know good in its way. But I still like to turn. You know, if it dies, just pop in another battery and continue going. This you can't do that. It also doesn't give you any idea when it's done charging either. But like I said, I'll be doing a review on this particular cam. Hopefully after I'm done around here and my certain significant others out of the way, <sighs> which is why I'm doing this first. Okay. <laughs>
Stebbins, more. Another BB. Okay, between the arch and the thing, there isn't any. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, okay, I know where to look. <laughs> Give me these directions, and of course, each person who wants me to look is giving me directions at the same time, but they're like two different sets of directions, so we'll see if we can find these individuals. Mm. Hold on, gotta switch hands. Mm. I'll go this down arch here. Still not sure the story behind this. Again, made out of New England granite. Kind of cool, though. Oh, no, I can't see it. Here's my face. Alright. Directions were... Go through the arch. Pretend we went through the arch. Up. Okay. Don't go... that way. Now, which fork in the road were they talking about? This came from that way. We looked there. Couldn't find them. Between the thing... and the thing... and the what's it... On the flats. Between. I don't know. <laughs> well, we'll look with the plant. Well, okay, they said they were, it was flat on the ground too. Um, well, we'll look here first. Hmm, that's different. That's a little shell, shell here, and a little, a little Mongol warrior. Hmm. Meet Jones. Uh, Bradway. Oh, by the house. Okay. We might be getting closer. I'm not sure. Okay, I see a Nodi. Like I said there. Ellen Moore. I know a couple named Moore. I actually know if I graduated with somebody named Moore. Holmes. Another Moore. Another Nodi. <laughs> uh, uh. I don't know where that cut out because my battery died. Which really rather sucks. But this is why I brought the flip cam. Now I am hunting for the second plant. And I think I'm getting closer. So this is where we are now. And I was about to say this particular building I'm not quite sure what the history is. We were inside once when they had like a greeting on Halloween once. They were like, I think there were people that were in the graveyard and they were like reenacting them or something like that, which is really, really cool. And I think it's now a museum of some sort. I might just scoot around and, well, let's find out what the hell. You know, what the hours are and if it is public access. And this will be a lot more bouncy than the other camera, which is why I got the other camera to get that bounce out. But this will be higher quality. So, we'll see. Um, I think this is a house at one point. Some candles in the window. Very sparse. Okay, the Jacob Thompson house. What's in historical society? All I remember is looking at a hat pin. That's like the only only memory I have of this particular, you know, in, inside this particular dwelling. It's one of those old-fashioned couches I can see. The fireplace. Very dirty mirror. <laughs> Do you know anybody I know? Probably not. Uh, that's a historical society. They don't tell you... I suppose if I go on the website, I could ask them, you know. But there are no hours, there's no information on this particular building. Cemetery Commission, so maybe, I don't know. Is just this particular section the Cemetery Commission? I do not know. Because I'd really like to see inside this house again. Okay, back to the hunt. Uh, is this some sort of plaque? It's a big, giant, blank piece of 
something. Oh, it's a patch. Huh. <laughs> Lavelle, who I know, both both individuals, both Fran. The the husband's name was Francis, and the second wife was named Francis. <sighs> and they would. And this is Carolyn, who was um, the um, first wife, who would be, I believe, my mother-in-law's mother. And that would be her mother, father, and. But I did get to know these people. Very nice people. I liked them. Okay. Uh, of course, I'm not going to know. I don't know if we're too far down or what. It's the bench we saw before, and that ain't it. Uh, hmm. <laughs> There's a plant, but I don't think that's. No. The plant that doesn't belong to anybody. I don't know. Reading, thawing. That'd be around a nodi. Where would we see the nodies? It's a uh, Galus. I knew Marion, who used to work at the bank and was part of the UMW. <laughs> Marion was always funny. Well, she's still alive, but she has um, Alzheimer's. And now lives at the Cape. Uh, it's a Dow. I thought we saw an Odie. Where do we see the Odie? I don't know. Wallace. Not a pretty plant. Mm. Let's go, let's go. My fingers are going numb. Wallace. Smart. Take a look there. I don't know. Especially when the graves are in the ground. How do you find them without tripping over them first? Halford, Mason, Kellogg, with a different spelling. Okay, this is a notey. Yeah, but those weren't the same. Oh, McGowan. McGowan. Hmm. Okay. Nori. Ha 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 them, I think. Maybe. Ish. Ow. Okay. Okay. We are in the general vicinity of these particular persons, but I do not see a second plant. Um. I don't know. <laughs> There's. I don't want to steal a plant that's not supposed to be stolen here. That's the but I think we have found our particular individual. And yes, they did come from Sweden and spoke Swedish, which is a really cool language. Okay, I shall return shortly. This is going to be interesting. I'm not sure if I can film the next way up. I might just have to cut off here because I have three plants to carry. Can you see me? Thusly, which is success. This is the grave that I am supposed to steal from. So I'm pretty damn sure I can't do that with one hand. Which rather sucks. So we'll see. I don't know. And of course, if there's so many motorcycles, you wouldn't hear me anyway. Um. Ugh. How come there's so many bugs at mics and this one isn't that bad? Ugh. Stinky flowers. See, we have to do this because, um, this particular cemetery won't let you keep anything here. And they'll be throwing out the flowers, and if you pay for them, like, and we can replant them, why waste them? So that's why I'm picking them up. So I shall do a pan, just in case I can't figure out what to do here. There's so many more other awesome stones to show. So if I can't figure out how to carry up the rest of the way, I shall see you in my next video. With less motorcycles. <laughs>